Hey there, YouTube family. This is Josh with Stocks with Josh. Happy Sunday to you. I hope that your day is restful and peaceful. Um, I'm going to touch with you today a little bit on Friday's video and uh, how to rebalance your portfolio through dollar cost averaging with limited funds. Now, you know that on Friday, we talked about how to scale in and out of a position for maximum profit and maximum risk aversion. So I'm gonna recap on it, right? We talked about how our base and uh, initial position should be the smallest. And as we add to our position, we shouldn't add to our position simply because of the passing of time. In this scenario, we add to our position based on it uh, coming down a certain percentage. And each time we add, right? We want that percentage to be greater. And each time we add, we want the dollar amount of the total volume of the order to increase. Now, what this will do for you just in, a, in a, and I'm only giving you an overview right now. We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to show you examples of this in trades. Uh, so visually you guys can see it, but right now I'm just planting the seeds of the concept. But what that's going to do for you is that when you, if you come down to the bottom of your risk range, and let's say that's 30% down, if you scale that in the way that I've described, you can be back into profit or break even by it only going back up 15%. So you could see the benefit of that in this bearish market. But a lot of you are, are right now looking to uh, deal with a portfolio that's in the red and you don't have uh, the funds to scale the way we described, but there are solutions for you. And that's basically going to be to dollar cost average um, and rebalance that portfolio with limited funds. Now, if this content's helping you, hey, take a minute to hit that like. Uh, if you're new, hit subscribe and, uh, and the notification bell so you can continue to get solutions to this trading environment. So, what, so I'm gonna give you an example of a good friend of mine had called me up and he said, uh, Josh, um, I'm, I'm hurting. My entire portfolio is in the red. And in particular, I jumped in, I bought a thousand shares of ChargePoint and I've got in at 1770. And uh, now at that particular time, it had come back to 15 bucks. And he's like, what do I do, bud? Do I just dump this whole trade and take the loss? At that point, he was thousands of dollars down. And I said, well, just hold on, slow down. Let's look into the charts. Let's come up with a rebalancing plan. And he's like, Josh, that's not the only trade I'm down on. You know, this trade is down and this trade is down and this trade, I'm still making money. Um, but you know, this other one's down. He's like, I'm not sure if, if I'm cut out for trading. He's like, I, I think I just wanna pull all my funds, especially if we're going into a recession. First of all, I'm gonna give you guys some, uh, some of my view on the charts on uh, Monday, um, I, I am seeing some bullish uh, things. I don't, it, we may, we are definitely in an environment of volatility, but I'm gonna let you know on Monday what positions I'm taking and what I'm seeing uh, in the days and weeks ahead. And some of it, uh, I think you'll find very interesting and very helpful. So anyways, back to my buddy. So I said to him, I said, listen, you know, I said, how much money do you have? He says, he says well, uh, I had told him uh, maybe a, a couple months back, I said, get out of all your margin. And he had listened to me. And so that was really helpful in this situation. So he did, he was essentially only using his cash account and he had the ability to use some margin. And I'm gonna caution you guys, um, you know, that is not the way that I would proceed to ramp up with margin in this environment. So, but I asked him, I said, you know, he's got, I've got some margin and I've got uh, some, I can put some more cash in. And so I said, okay, listen, let's leave everything as it is right now. And we're gonna focus on the trade that I think is most likely to turn around for you, which I believed at that time was charge point. And I said to him, I said, I see that the lowest, the lower end of the risk range is $13. And of course, as soon as I said that he panicked, he's like, you telling me, bud, I'm gonna lose six grand. <laughs> and I said, well, I said, you know, I said, I think that we're gonna hit a historic low, right? And if you consistently dollar cost average uh, every day into this position, 
I said, I do believe on ChargePoint, we will come back up to 1770 over the course of the next month. And I said, you know, so he had the ability to buy a couple hundred dollars a day of charge point using a mixture of cash and margin. Now, everyone's situation is going to be different. But the important thing I'm pointing out to you is that this was different than uh, the scaling that I talked about in Friday's video or Saturday's video. This is this is the way of doing it with limited funds. Right. But he wasn't able to bring his position down as much as he would have if he did it the way that I described in Saturday's video. But he was able to bring his position down all the way around the $15 mark as he just consistently bought every single day at, down to $13. And when we got to $13, I gave him a call because I was tracking it for him. And I said, listen, man, now you need to ramp up. If you've got any additional funds that you can put in, put them in right here. And uh, he did that, and uh, and you know, within another 10 days, we had that run up to to uh, back up to 1770. I had charted that with you guys some weeks back, and I and I said to my kid, now we're gonna we're not gonna dump it all at one time because a lot of people will hold a trade, and when it finally gets back to a place where they got in, they're so relieved they just want to get their cash out. I said, let's let's scale out of it. So I had him sell a portion of it, half of it at 1770. And I said, now it's more than likely going to pull back to 15. And I said, but we are going to pump up to, I believe, the 1950 area, right? So when it was all said and done, he had gone from being down $6,000 to recovering $6,000 and making a $2,000 profit. Now, the part of this that is rebalancing is this. This is what you, some of you are going to need to do. You're going to need to look at your portfolio. Don't panic. I have so many comments in the comment section and say, Josh, should I just sell everything? And you know, I'm not your financial advisor, I, uh, but I would say probably not. A lot, uh, you know, the market is in some ideal places on a lot of um, great companies. But what you need to do is you need to work with learning the risk ranges as I'm gonna teach them to you so that you have an idea of where you might go down and where you might come back up to. And here's the key thing. You're gonna be given opportunities in this market to rebalance your portfolio, okay? So you need to focus on which trade you're most likely to get out of if it comes back up. And you need to dollar cost average with a plan to the bottom of that risk range so that you could get out of that trade and have a portion of your portfolio in cash. And then you're gonna basically rinse and repeat. You're going to look at the next trade and you're going to, going to then assess a risk range and you're going to focus on freeing up capital there. You know, right now it's, it is about uh, capital preservation and capital growth because, uh, you know, and I, I, I can tell you that one of the things I'm gonna to highlight to you guys in the coming days is how Warren Buffett, how much cash he keeps on hand for days like this. And that's what we need to be doing. We need to be cashing up. You guys know that we're doing the small account challenge. I'm gonna leave a link uh, to that at the end of this video where I am walking you through trades, uh, chart setups, uh, you know, dollar cost averaging liquidity setups, and we're, and we're putting in the trades, actually how to do it. It's gonna be a great journey and you guys will be able to apply this to all of your trades moving forward and you're gonna be able to learn something. Um, so go into the description of this video, hit the link uh, for Moomoo, download the app, put $100 in, and then check in on Monday because that's where we're gonna be giving updates and we're gonna be uh, pressing in and teaching. I'm gonna be sharing with you the fun my fundamentals of trading and sharing with you the, the way that Wall Street trades. You know, a lot of folks in the retail, uh, you know, area and retail trading, you know, the day-to-day -day working guys who are trying to build wealth, generational wealth and manage some money and they're assuming that risk, they're not, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're locked on the outside. You know, these, these secrets, you know, you know the, the way that Wall Street invests is hidden. It's behind a closed door. And really, we're living in an amazing time where, you know, we, I can get on here on YouTube and I can, uh, you know, break, you know, open up that door and share some of these fundamentals. And I just, I love the journey with you guys. Um, the, you know, the communication in the comments section, uh, feel free to share, uh, you know, what, you know, what, you know, what questions you have about what we're discussing and, uh, you know, and we're going to get there and build uh, generational wealth together. I appreciate you guys letting me be part of your financial journey. Please hit that like 
and subscribe on the way out. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great Sunday afternoon.